Welcome back. Alright, during the break I added some colors to the palette. Uh, what you're going to want to do to add these colors in is go back up to Image, hit Mode, and hit RGB. Then you're going to want to hit the, put these colors in for the body. We got ourselves red 240, 192, 160, and 128. We have gray 213, that's all colors at 213, and 172, and 130, and then 111. Alright, then you want to go back up to image, hit mode, and next again, 256 colors. Alright, so we got our little stance here. I do this just in case I screw up and want to go back. Alright. So the first thing you may notice about Fireman is... No crotch. Crotch. Big man here wears his underwear on the outside. Let's fix that. Alright, because it's indexed like that, we can just go brock. Looks like he's wearing pajamas. Alright, so what we're gonna do real quick, because most of his body is gray anyway, we're just gonna dye him gray right now. The whole body. Be easier. For something like this, this I recommend starting with the lighter shades and working your way down the spectrum. Because, although it may at times look like there's only four colors in most of the sprites, sometimes there's a couple for each shade, minor variations, so this helps. Alright, next one. The only problem with this is if you did this particular one in Fighter Factory, because you can just put the image there, change the palette, bada bing, bada boom. Because the colors, he's blue on blue, it's gonna screw up a little bit, and some of your darker areas will be turned gray, but if that makes things easier for you anyway, then you should go for it. For these really dark blues right there, I'm just gonna use. There we go. Green Mega Man. Alright. Now, another thing you may notice his feet. That is a very, very easy fix. 
fact, we can use this tool. It's a long, it's create and edit paths. And we can just go from, say, here to here. Um, we can go back to edit it a little bit. Stroke path, we hit stroke path with the paint tool, we hit pencil, we stroke it, and then let's see, scroll out, that looks pretty good actually. Now we're going to do something to the other side. That, that, that'll be good. Yeah, because it gets wider back here. It's a little higher up there. All right. So now we're gonna color that area red. starting to look like Fireman. Then we color the feet gray. Okay. We got these little shiny bits here. So I'm just going to... that do that great and then just around this one a little bit secondary cup gray Now, if you've noticed by now how one leg tends to be darker than the other and one arm is darker than the other, that's because that of the lighting and the way he's standing. So when you're editing the sprite and you're shading, make sure you, you know, have an idea of your head where how he's standing and where's the light coming from so that when you're doing custom shade for parts you're going to make from scratch maybe, you know how to make it look good. Because in sprite editing, looks count. shade of gray. Alright. See how good that looks? <laughs> 